How are you, my dear friends? I love you very much. Are you fine? Yes, I'm still here with SST or Social Studies or Literacy 1A, P2. Okay, I'm Tumine Joy, as usual. I am now on Lesson 19 in Social Studies. Okay, uh, today we are going to look at, we are still looking at school needs. But last time, I left you with the work on the same topic, school needs. Did you do it? And very well. Okay, let's look at the, the exercise I left with you. The number one was how important are the school needs? Do you remember how we defined school needs? Let me remind you. What are school needs? School needs are things a school requires to run well. Things a school requires to run well. Now, if the question is, now, how important are the school needs? School needs help the school to run well. That's the answer. School needs help the school to run well. Number two. Why, why do schools need the following? Why do schools need the following? Money. Ha, money. Money buys everything that is used at school. So a school needs money to buy other needs. A school needs money to buy other needs. Teachers to teach, of course. Latrines or toilets to ease ourselves. To ease ourselves. Transport. Why does a school need transport? To transport school property. Playground. Why does a school need a playground? For sports. Why does a school need food? Yes, a school needs food for growth and energy. For growth and energy. We need to grow. We need to have energy. Okay? Did you pass that? Okay. If you passed, thank you very much. Flowers. Right? Okay. Now today, we are going, we are still on lesson 19 of Literacy 1A. Let's look at the sources of school needs. We see a school needs many things, but where does the school get those needs? That's what we are going to look at. Now, when we finish this lesson, by the time the lesson ends, I would like you to mention sources of school needs. Sources, where the needs are got, the source, okay? I expect you to list down sources of school needs, okay? Now pay attention and we see. In our session one, we are looking at sources of school needs where the school gets the needs, okay? Now, where do schools get their needs? Can you think? Think and give me the answer. Think of the answer. Where do you think the school gets money, gets teachers, gets food, gets all that? Okay, let's look at, I hope you have, you have, you have got some. Okay, how the school gets its needs? how the school gets its needs. How does the school get its needs? Let's look at them. Can we read together? If you can, I know you know how to read. Good children. School use, schools use money to meet their needs. Yes, schools use money to get their needs, not so? Now, well, how can they get money? Money can be got in the following ways. Money can be got in the following ways. How do, how do schools get the money? One, from school fees paid by the parents. Your parents pay school fees. So that, that money of school fees helps the, per, uh, the, the school to run. Mm -hmm. Number two, from school projects. A school can start projects. Like what project? Like cattle keeping, a school can have cattle. You know Kato? Yes. And a school can have a project like poultry keeping. 
a school can have a project like uh, Pigari. Uh, if, uh, at, at school we have uh, rabbits, so it can be rabbit keeping. So there are very many projects a school can have in order to, to get money. Uh, another way is from banks as loans. Some schools go to the bank, get loans, they use the money, and they pay back. A loan is supposed to be paid back, okay? Okay, so another way is from banks as loans. Mm -hmm. Look at the word loans. Can we spell it? Loans. L-O-A-N-S. Okay. Another way, children can stage concerts and act plays to raise money. Do you remember? At school, sometimes we stage a concert. Those concerts, we get some money to run the school. Okay. Where they can, a school can play, children can play, can act plays raise money okay that is another way a school can get money another one friends of the of schools give them money as and other gifts schools have friends maybe other friends maybe just be other other companies they, they come and give the school money and other gifts they can give the school books they can give the school any other thing that can help the school to run well. Okay, another way, government pays school fees for children through the Universal Primary Education Fund. For Universal Primary Education, which is UPE in short, Education Fund. But this one works with schools which, which are government schools, not like our school. Our school doesn't, doesn't get that fund of universal primary education. It is for those schools which are government-aided schools, where the government says, this is our school, this is my school as a government, I have to look after it. So they, are, they give the schools money, which is, which is through the universal primary education. Okay? So those are the ways a school can get money okay let's read them from here from here how the school gets money from school fees paid by parents from school projects from banks as loans children can stage concerts and act plays to raise money uh, friends of the school schools give them money and other gifts government pays school fees for children through the universal Primary Education Fund. Can, look at that word, universal. Can you spell it? Universal. U-N-I-V-E-R-S-A-L. Universal. Okay. Now, after looking at all those ways a school can get money, have you seen them? May I take back and you see if I give you the, the exercise? Yes? Uh-huh, look at them in a short time. One minute. Okay. Okay. Now here is the activity. Activity for you to answer after learning. Number one, how does your school get money? Give two. Only two ways. Only two. I gave, I think they were eight. I want only two. Uh, list down any two projects a school can start. I have told you very many projects. They were like five. I want only two. Then write UPE in full. Hey, do you remember that? UPE in full. Draw and name one way a school, a school can get money. Only one way. Okay? Thank you very much. We meet next time when you have answered these questions very well. I hope you remember. Thank you. We meet in another lesson.